for 10 years of IT experience and out of that one I'm having around uh, 7 years of uh, SAP experience I'm an SAP certified uh, 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 SAP BWBI uh, uh, this one consultant and uh, also have uh, experience on just working on the uh, support migrations and implementation and like you know SAP BW and HANA migration and have diverse experience uh, handling the client domestic as well as the international and uh, actually I'm based in Mumbai and uh, I just you know uh, it's, uh, give uh, it's a training to a uh, corporate level and uh, uh, I'm associated with uh, this one uh, JSP IT solutions and uh, from for, uh, last couple of years <coughs> uh, Shrikant I just, I just want to know about yourself so that you know, means, you know whatever just I'm giving the presentation about uh, uh, what exactly means, I just want to know, Mr. You know your uh, knowledge in SAP and all so can you just brief me about yourself uh, in SAP I Sure. Um, uh, I'm Srikant. I'm a native to Hubali, Karnataka. I've also lived in Hyderabad and uh, I've done my bachelor's in business admin and uh, which was way long ago. And then after coming here, I basically worked for hotels and stuff, but never worked in IT. So this, uh, and uh, I do have a uh, last year, I did have actually training on SAP SD module. Uh, but after that, I've never pursued it either. And uh, so this time I actually came to a location where they provide training placement uh, along with uh, accommodation. So I just thought I should take it seriously this time and pursue something. All right. Means, uh, you have you know, some training yeah, on this. So are you looking for Ms. exactly what? Ms. Yeah, yeah SAP to is the module. All the well, I got, and, is this, uh, okay, this one uh, is BI, BW um, the same? No, uh, Shrikant, actually, uh, in SAP, like if you no. are aware of that one, there are technical as well as the functional modules. Uh, so, your SD, like you know, sales and distribution, mm -hmm. uh, comes as a, a functional yeah. model, model, like. Like FICO is there, MM is there, right. AP. Mm -hmm. So it is also. And the BI, AP, like in the BW, yeah. it's a business uh, warehouse. Uh, it is an ETL tool. Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, it is being used. It is a techno functional kind of. Uh, what we do means in the BW, uh, we extract the data from the source system that is ECC. Means where in ECC, like you are aware of that one, SAP system. Uh, are you using extraction tool for data mining? Yeah, data mining extraction tool, correct. So it extracts the data from the uh, source uh, system, like you know your uh, sales model, like you know sales and distribution models, MM models, FIC models, and it brings to the uh, this one uh, ETL, you know, like in, to the BW. BW is a uh, your uh, OLAP system, uh, mm -hmm. like it is online application uh, processing, analytical processing. I mean to say. Uh, so why it is being used is uh, stores BW is a separate server which stores historical data. Whereas your SAP, like you know, uh, R3 is your uh, OLT, with this uh, online transactional uh, this one uh, processing. It uses as that system, where your transactional data is being processed in the SAP, like in R3. That mm -hmm. data uh, it contains in the table, and that table holds uh, particular uh, amount of data. If you just want to have historical data, means huge amount of data and all that one, then you need to. Uh, just have it as a data mining, it is a storage place. So where that you know BW comes in the picture. So basically and, this is used in yeah. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was wondering. So uh, this is basically used for or showing a representation uh pictographs or uh, gra um you know different pictures or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the like you know uh, you know making three means the transactional uh, this your system is having limitations. Limitations means like the reports where ABAP reports and the standard reports in R3, like in your source system, it uh, two dimensional. Like you know, it will be like in the table form, all right. But in the BW, we have that one multi dimensional. Why it is multi dimensional means like uh, you can have uh, like you know uh, any uh, 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 sales order is there. If you mm -hmm. want to see a manager wants to see how many sales order 
has been converted into the invoices so that invoices mm -hmm. will be in the, your fi model so in different uh, aspects or uh, the dimensions in the bw we can see the reports that's mm -hmm. why it is called as the interlinks like all historical data will be there in the your bw system it will store there and mm -hmm. If you just want to have a manager, want to have a user, like to see the historical data, and he wants to uh, see in different aspect what is like you know my uh, last five years, last you know ten years data, how many my this particular uh, this product miss item was there, and uh, how many sales order miss you know it's being you know uh, it was attached to and it was sent. So these kind of and you know, all the reports and these kind of intelligence we can have in the BW like business uh, uh, warehouse. Where and, uh, is a separate uh, server, which can be any. It can be on the based on HANA database. It can be on Oracle. It can be a DB2. So any database, it will have its own separate database, and it will fetch all the data from the source system. It can be from the SAP R3. It can be non-SAP systems like Oracle, SQL, or any other. You know the data is on. It can fetch uh, the data from Excel sheets, you know, from Tally, any any systems which you know uh, gives you the um, it's like an, uh, the uh, data in the uh, tabular uh, formats. It it fetches that one, it be the things that one, and it can it, uh, uh, it do the modeling in that one. What exactly like you know uh, if you're aware of that one in the sales and distribution, it is have a um, you know different tables are there. So in that yeah. table you have fields. So here. In BW, you have the fields, but it is you know called as a different info objects. So the standard info objects like you know fields are available in the BW. You do not have to create that one. You can create means you know custom also as per the requirement. Info objects you have to create. That is a minute building block. Actually, I'm just giving you BW. Uh, actually, I was you know uh, supposed to give the directly Hana, but I'm just giving an overview what is exactly BW. So you can have you know miss clarity, miss you know if you are having a background of SD. So what is BW? I'm just you know trying to ex explain you so that you can decide like you are if your uh, future miss you know you just think that one scope is go good in BW, or it is up to you miss where you want. BW is like mm -hmm. an ET. And uh, here, uh, why BW? I'm just giving an example. Analytics, like you know, uh, the analytics will be the future. It's like you know, it will be. Uh, so you should know all the. If you just want to go for analytics in the BM, it's SAP analytics. It can be, you know, that is a, uh, a source system. Can be BW, it's like you know, anything. And BW, what is an ETL tool? That is. And if you are just thinking, you know, you are done SD and uh, you are functional from your background, and you just want to stick to the SD related model. So uh, that is up to you. Like you know, if you just want to go for in uh, SD, if you are aware of that one, then S for HANA is there, uh, which is you know having a, a logistic simple logistic uh, model is there, which is you know being a, a newly added uh, advanced version of a sales and distribution. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can uh, go ahead, Mason. You I can have ask me. Questions to ask. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so SAP BW and BI are interchangeably used, right? The word because of the version, is that true? Yeah. Are are they totally different, BI and BW? Uh, it is like in you know, a version based. Uh, they are, you can say that when they are totally different, and uh, like in the BW seven after seven point four version, uh, BO like business objects. that is also called as a bi sometimes you know it is some confusion uh, to understanding the nomenclature they are so it's a totally different module than bi bw and bo are the <clears throat> no no yes uh, bw and bo bo is also yes. called as a bi so sap hana is by itself just a database right it's not a module of its own is it true uh yeah sap hana is your uh, database as well as it is you know your hardware mm -hmm. and uh, it is a kind of all all together is different like uh, the traditional if you just say only the database it is also true it is a basically mm -hmm. an app uh, soap it's an application okay. and yeah mm -hmm. so and if, uh, what's the difference between sap hana Uh, on Hana and for Hana, what exactly is the difference? Uh, I didn't get. It's like an SAP on Hana. 
Yeah, what is SAP on HANA and SAP for HANA? Uh, yeah, these are uh, two. Like SAP on HANA means like you know you're having you know already uh, SAP uh, database is there. Uh, any uh, non HANA database on that uh, that one you are uh, going to migrate. So that is uh, that is your SAP on HANA means on HANA database. SAP mm -hmm. for HANA. So uh, that will be your uh, the package you know you're directly implementing you know just buying from the SAP. Okay. Like that SAP BW for HANA. If there is a job that says a description as B SAP BW for HANA. So is that uh, does that mean uh, you retrieve the data from HANA uh, from BW on HANA? Uh, yeah, uh, BW on HANA means like you know, already your uh, customer is having a BW uh, server and he wants to migrate to the HANA. So that is you know uh, BW on HANA and BW for HANA is like for B4 HANA. It is you know, also called as a B4 HANA. That is a, a new means like in you know, a new product. Uh, it's a new launch. It is a packaged. It, you do not mm -hmm. have to just you know migrate or do anything. It will be ready-madely available based on HANA. You do not have to just you know in the BW on HANA. You have to optimize you know manually the info cubes, uh, the DSOs and multi providers. These, these things you know you have to manually. That in uh, BW for HANA, it's a pre-package. Mm -hmm. Everything is you know being you know, optimized in the HANA level and everything. You just have to just uh, install that. But you have to implement. Mm -hmm. That's all. Um, thank you so much for clarifying. Uh, and anything means like uh, you are aware of uh, HANA technology, how it works, wh what is the difference between HANA and the non HANA databases or the non HANA? Yes, uh, ECC uh, Enterprise Central Component. Uh, is that like a, a three tier arm? Um, uh, um, three tier, uh, is that the one? Yeah, Maybe that is true. That I, I will explain you that one. Uh, what I exactly in ECC, like you know, SAP ECC, it's in your ERP. Fine, it's a SAP ERP, right. and it is three uh, three tier architecture. So it will be your application level, your uh, presentation uh, application, and the level. All the three means you know this uh, the uh, tier will be there. Right. So in HANA, what the technology came? It is you know technology is not only of the software. You cannot implement or just you know just you know uh, install this hana to on any platform you have to buy the hardware for it the oh. hardware is a different kind of server than this one it will have a trix uh, uh, the engine why trix it is being used by the google where you know your mm -hmm. trix engine searches faster it's mm -hmm. uh, something you know 100 and you know, 100 times you know faster than the, your the uh, ordinary uh, this one ecc systems and why it is in HANA, you will have uh, uh, the hardware, Miss Lena. It will be a uh, course, will be there. It's, uh, you will have you know, uh, the RAM. So, here in our traditional laptops, in the uh, desktops, you will have something you know called you know, RAM is there 8 GB RAM, and you have a you know, 100 GB a hard disk. So, what happens? So, you just you know, run any application. So what happens? The RAM is being utilized, and it uh, fetches that uh, from the hard disk. The, this one. So it is, and when you just for uh, fetching the first time, it goes. It comes in the RAM, and it, goes, it just creates a cached memory. And for uh, some limited period of time or something, something uh, else comes out. It will be there. So HANA is based on that in-memory technology. What in-memory technology? It fetches the data. From the hard, it's like hard disk first time, and it store in the RAM only. Mm. And the RAM is not your 8 GB. It will be 100 GB, depending on the customer's requirement. What kind of a database is this customer is having? Around 250 GB, 400. So these are the blades are available in the core blades in the HANA hardware. According to the custom customer's requirement database, we you know just recommend that one. And in the addition, we can also add that one the uh, the blades to the server. So and this, instead, uh, of, uh, <coughs> instead of rows, the data is stored in the form of columns, right? Yeah, instead of rows, it will be uh, the architecture like you know, it will be columns. It will be stored in the columns. Why? Because when uh, it uh, searches very faster, mm -hmm. if compared to the row label, I will show you this one. Uh, one slide is there. Uh, can you see these slides? Yeah, I, I can.
uh, here is like you know it's a hardware technology like you know it is a multi core architecture and uh, it's a software is a row and column wise means compression will be means you know it is auto compressed you do not have to in bw sometimes you know the cubes you know huge cubes and you know, data is so then you have to compress that one so it is a pre -com uh, compressed comes uh, like that one you do not have to have these are the some technical i'm just you know reading out you for that one you do not have to just worry means if you just go deeper and deeper then you will understand means you know aggregation is there means like an you know, already means you know <coughs> some aggregates uh, you have to create that one you do not have to create uh, create in uh, 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 in the hana because why because you know this data is you know stored in the uh, column was instead of row in the row what happened uh, for example you have a, a customer one two three it's like abc the customer is you know, having a xyz item and the country is like that one so how the traditional uh, i will just you know, see that one if i'm having that slide Uh, so I'm just coming on that point. Uh, in this slide, if you just see that one, why this is a traditional uh, our ERP in the system? What exactly in the application level you're there? This some database. What used to happen? Uh, first, you know, a user uh, runs a transaction. It uh, from the presentation layer it goes to the application. From the application it goes to database and do the calculation in the database and it come back to the application level. So it takes a lots of time. What happened in the in memory computing? This calculation is being done in only the database level, not an application level. Mm -hmm. So instead of you know three tier, it's just taking in only two tier architecture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. This three tier uses like you know, uh, so three tier architecture and uh, so where is that? So currently you're working for Hana. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm working on a, on Hana, and uh, as a migration, I have just completed this mi migration project. Usually, how long mm, are the if you Pardon? How long are the projects for BW Hana? Uh, that depends, you know. If uh, the project is a small company, you know that when have a database around 250 of GB, it's like you know the, for the Hana, and you, their their hardware is ready. It's like they have the already vendor. Mm -hmm. like, you have the Dell, IBM, or you can have that one cloud AWS. So your hardware ready and all that one. So for the migration project, for 250 GB of data, it takes around uh, three, three to five months, depending on that one, their availability. It's uh, mostly the basis part is there, and uh, I'm saying about the BW and HANA. And if your functional uh, will be there, then it's more than six months. If the functional uh, models mm -hmm. are there, like. FI and your you have to migrate on the HANA, then you have to do the configuration, reconfiguration. You need to there are lots of testing. Uh, yeah. Uh, thing about the column or data store. Mm -hmm. If you have an ABCD, these are your customers, and this Raven, this is a their currency. Instead of you know, uh, these are in the row, so it will be in the column wise. And for searching. Means you know, uh, first time if it's in row wise, if a customer just want to search for the customer name C, and he wants to see the what is the customer's you know, revenue, and so uh, the system server what exactly it you know just searches for the A B C. First it goes from uh, A to uh, uh, means you know, it will search from the customer name, revenue, currency. Again second uh, row, third row like that one. Here in the column node, what exactly it is a C is there, so he will directly uh, go for directly. He will just search like A B C. Then here it will go directly for the C column only. Mm -hmm. So uh, by this one, it's very faster. Uh, like we just know claim that uh, proof points like and it is uh, faster 350 time. And uh, you are asking about the BI. Actually, BI is a which is uh, it is a report. Hello. Uh, yes, Rikant. Now Can you hear can me now? Hear you. Yeah. 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 Uh, you were asking about the BI business intelligence. It's uh, like a uh, business objects, also it is called as a business objects. Why it is you know having you know, different flavors. It is like you know for mostly it's a reporting dashboard, 
nowadays if you just see there are lots of dashboards in every uh, uh, this one systems and if you just go for any application dashboards are coming so this business objects or business intelligence it contains different you kind know, of tools to represent your data from bw or from the uh, hana or anything it is based on mostly hana is you know uh, bi intelligence they are being called as a, these these are your bi you have the tools like uh, map intelligence dashboards crystal reports and then explorer so different different tools are there which can be is being different different like maybe is you know more flexible just to, to uh, have you know uh the dashboards uh, which can be deployed in the uh, web services dashboards and it is being used as a uh, it's like excel based so it is a little uh, light uh, dashboards if you want to go for you can go for the these dashboards tool vb is a little heavy crystal for the operational reports so these are the business intelligence if you just see that one is the source system can be sap bw a third party directly erp you can just have you know from any uh, any systems you can uh, build these so basically uh, bi is a tool uh, which generates the different flavors of the dashboards and the reports in very interactive uh, uh, the display where the management and they will have those uh, 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 some uh, kpis will be there like and you know, i just want to see the manager wants to see best selling you know uh, best selling my this one uh, uh, best selling product is there which last month or who's you know giving me huge uh, this one revenue customer wise and so these are the some kpis are there which is based on that one we create the dashboards for the managerial or ceo level and it is for easier for them to understand and what is to take a, a decisions very fast and if you are deploying that one all your system on hana hana is too fast so whatever the near real time why i'm saying near real time because it is not exactly if you're just in a punching in a sales order in the source system and immediately in seconds you are getting that one near real time means at least 5 to 10 minutes it takes to come to the bw reports and on top of that one it comes to reflect in the your dashboards M maximum 5 depending on your uh, database size and your uh, the hardware uh, the speed and all and if you are going for that one uh, for non uh, hana system it takes one day like in if you just see in the traditional right now if a non hana uh, database like oracle db2 is are there the data coming from the ecc r3 system in the bw we have to give you know some process chain and we have to give mission it runs only in the night when the users are not using the system so is it overnight there a difference between sap bw and bi it says until 3.5 it was just called bw and then later it it was just named as bi yes. from version yeah. 7.0 so it says it's just the name change uh, but nothing is different is that yeah, uh, no there is a different like in a, in the name they before they were up to 3.5 to 7.0 so they were it called as a bw and after 7.x they started you know calling it is a bi then in 7 uh, from 7.3 they started again for the bw and they instead so of the name. pardon uh, so it's just the name constant yeah, changing because of that one there is a still lots of confusion uh, Uh, like you know it was in a bw previously used to call as a bi then it was a bw again 7.3 it started with the bw up to still 7.5 is going on they still calls it as a bw only bw 7.5 which is uh, uh, like you know uh, it's a prerequisite 7.5 for the before uh, before uh, uh, hana bw for hana you say yeah Uh, bw for hana it is a pre secret 7.5 version so you have to uh, migrate to the 7.0 you have to upgrade that one then only you can go for the bw for hana mm. so still it called as a bw in the meanwhile in the 7.x like you are right it was called as a bi business intelligence but after 7.3 then again uh, named it back to the bw still it is a bw now they are calling bi to the this business intelligence to the bo like business objects is a different model now they are calling business objects as a business uh, business object as a business uh, intelligence mm -hmm. yes yeah, shrikant uh so this is do we have any other questions uh how long is the course duration uh no what exactly means i just want to uh, if you want to go for uh, acp bw on hana or yes. it is a 
to plus bi also you want to go or uh, what exactly or you just want to go for the only hana so uh, you said uh, hana is not a module right it's a database yeah uh, hana is also a model like you know uh, hana studio or the means uh, your native hana for example like you know if you do not if you are not having a bw system in your means you know your and you are implemented uh, this hana in hana it, hana uh, studio is there where it's and you can do the modeling on hana modeling it's not a bw is hana modeling and you can have the tables on the hana tables and you can create the schemas on top of that one you can create the views uh like you know just i'm uh, i do not have the uh, this one uh, this ppt right now with me which modules do you teach is it uh, bw no no not uh, pure hana it's a native hana this is called as a native hana native hana native so hana is not uh, bw hana yeah native hana is different bw and hana is different oh okay and if you know both then it is a very uh, means you know uh, very good skill and it is very much demanded in the market if you know them is bw and hana because where the bw and hana is being used where the bw is already existing and it is they are migrated just so they just want to have those person who's having a skills in bw and hana but ma many times already if you are using the like you know in hana or when you migrate to the hana there is a hana studio called as so you have to work in that and uh, if uh, bw is also there so you have to use that one hana studio for uh, just you know bringing in all your info cubes and directly uh, from the hana studio you can create your bex reports directly you do not have to just you know log into the uh, bex you know designer or analyzer uh, from directly you can create them from the hana studio that is an added advantage of the from the if you are migrating from the uh, to the hana all right but still in hana studio hana there is in you know, there are lots of you no know, uh, tools available like you can create uh, this you know uh, attribute views analytical views and calculation views so these are the views in you know, which is being used in the uh, reporting means like you know like you know if a reporting tool like in you know, business intelligence i mean to say there are different uh, tools are there like lumira is there and you have maybe excel sheets dashboards and all like you know uh, tableau i'm not sure mr nadir is being hana is also having you know that one facility you can use hana views why mr if you're already having a, a hana views directly it is very faster to the, for the reporting ultimately our target is to show our dashboards and reporting to the end user and our this managers mm -hmm. so if you know underneath what exactly in the tool are there to build your um, it's like interact to dashboards so you should be aware of that when bw is there very nice in bw and hana you are aware and above of that when if you know the native hana how to miss model means and hana also that is a very added advantage so uh, Uh, what exactly means you want to go if you uh, uh, is not aware of the bw and if you just want to go for the bw and hana then you, i suggest you to go for the first at least you know bw uh, basics like you know you should know uh, before you know just you know going to the bw and hana in advanced version but you should know what exactly is bw mm -hmm. and then uh, bw uh, after uh, just uh, knowing everything in this like you know how it is being you know used how is the process chains are there how to uh, uh, Create a custom report on them. See by using the BEX reports, how can you you can schedule that one, and all these. When you know that one, then it is very easier for you to go for understand the BW and HANA. BW and HANA only there are some changes related with the HANA. What exactly uh, the BW info uh, info providers are there like info uh, info cubes DSOs. What happens to them? Is that the same? And what exactly means in after you know just migrating to the HANA based? What exactly? their power and how they are being being used where can be they so you now we can take the most advantage of that one being on the hana that is bw on hana and native hana is like uh, you if you are having uh, different uh, tables not from the bw from the ecc also you can just you know, uh, just uh, bring that one into hana studio you can use them this abap tables this uh, ecc tables or any other um, sql tables and on top of that one you can create the views and those views you can use for the your dashboards and just in a reporting purpose 
this is whatever whatever i explained you that is for the analytical backgrounds so if you just want to go for analytics mm -hmm. and if your background is hd like you know you are interested and in, you have done the hd and if you want to go for the hd uh, then uh, i would suggest you to go for s4 hana then why s4 hana for, because it's for s4 hana hd yeah s4 hana in s4 hana now hd model is being as a called as a simple logistic mm -hmm. so which one would you suggest oh, which one has more opportunities both is having good opportunity uh, like if you are aware of the hd sales and distribution and you yeah. know the full process so yeah. i would suggest So go for S4 HANA because S4 HANA is a new uh, implemented, it's a new technology, and uh, the resources are, resources are very much you know uh, there is scarcity of resources in the market. The even the client uh, they are not you know just asking for the SD guys they are want SD guys worked on the S4 HANA or like simple logistic. Even FIC, uh, it's a technical model finance and controlling and. Uh, for they just um, expect i was never interested in fico yeah yeah so for fico also the guy is missing they are looking for not only for fico the uh, the guy who's worked on the fico model of the like simple finance in the s4 hana that is they are giving the preferences so i mean to say if your sd you know functional functionality or very uh, miss like uh, comfortable with the sd you know everything and all miss not everything but you just aware of that one you can handle that one so i would suggest go for the s4 hana because if you are not from the bw background then first you know you have to uh, put some time in the bw understanding the bw then bw on hana and again uh, you have to understand the what is the is hana how this being processed and uh, then again uh, if your bw on hana is there then it is mandatory or it is like you know you should know about the business intelligence like the dashboarding and all that so at least means you know three models you have to learn and if you are already sd you know that one then one model is there s4 hana simple logistics so i would suggest if you are interested in that one uh sd if you just think that one go google it and just see that one if you are comfortable with the s4 hana go for that one but no still if you like to go for the analytics that is the market in the us wherever you are and if you just think that one in my suggestion both are hot S4 HANA HANA technology is hot right now. Whichever you see, you are in the analytics or in the uh, functional. If you are belong to the HANA, then you are in the uh, right direction. Mm -hmm. So you have to go think. No, that is my. You are interested and then you just want to go for the analytics. That is the uh, any uh, of uh, any companies there in the US or any of your colleagues who is in the analytics. They are doing very good, good package and all. so i would i would suggest just to you know, put some extra hard work and some time and just to you know slowly just go for, go for bw on hana and just to slowly just learn very nicely bw on hana analytics everything and that is a piece of like you know means in the future analytics will be in the future like even if you go for the s4 hana so there are in s4 hana the uh, analytics already in built reports are there based uh, fury uh, fury based reports are there so that is also a uh, business intelligence uh, report so it is a uh, uh, pre defined like you do not have to create them so whatever the mission you have to put the uh, figures in that one transaction in that one uh, immediately the report will be there in the s4 hand but that is a limitation is there still those are standard mm -hmm. reports we cannot have that one for the customization again you will be going to need an uh, expert in the analytics guy was a mission good in that but hana as well as in the uh, bi mm -hmm. so i would suggest just you know uh, think over it and uh, both are good like you know if you just want to go for the uh, s4 hana as per your sd or you can just be still interested in go for the bw on hana that will be fine there are lots of projects like you know uh, in whole world 80% of market of acp is having out of that one around 40000 right now is the figure who's you know bw systems are there who's you know already done they are doing or they will be doing the bw on hana migration because bw if you are having a server in the bw it is very slow like you know it takes at least one day to process the uh, this one so they are just going for the hana so that you know, immediately you know, the reports will be available for the end user
Yes, yeah, Shrikant. Um, sure. I actually asked my uh, the person, uh, the consultancy, uh, which one is he exactly asking me to learn? Uh, because oh. I have no clue, like so many. You just, and you're speaking extremely fast. Could you go next time a little slower while talking, like a normal conversation? That way it is easier to process the information, whatever you're asking us. Yeah, yeah. We will start and all that one, so we will have that because right now, because I have given 30 minutes. You so have been in a rush. Oh, okay. You have time limits. Okay, no worries. No, no, no. Quite no, Shrikant. I was not having the time limit. In 30 minutes, I thought maybe you are having some engagements. So, in 30 minutes, I feel whatever though I'm sharing, I just wanted to share more. <laughs> <and> more. <laughs> you are awesome. Thank you so much. You are actually really good at explaining stuff. It's just, could you, uh, from my first class on, could you please? speak a little yeah. slower, like a normal conversation. That way, it should be one-on-one. -on -one. You ask, I listen, I listen, you ask. Something like that. That way, uh, the information goes uh, pretty smooth. Sure, sure, definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your time. And uh, can I, uh, so I'll get back to you um, as soon as possible. Sure, Shrikan. It's so nice talking Thank to you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. You have a great evening. Bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.